Haitian. I'm from Haiti. Yeah. Feel me born. Came when I was seven, you know, came from the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. Ooh, I ain't never had shit, you know, these cash or buzz, this and that. Yeah. And I stayed down for my time. I ain't never hate. So now, you know, it's time to make niggas hate me, feel me? You stay so down you, and you turn into hit. a young finesse. A young finesse. A big finesse. That's it. <laughs> we call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. All right. Let's kick it right off, man. Changing the youth, hottest podcast in the city. Jerry Novato, Kelsey Means, the Lux Vlog, Shanna Zania to my left behind the camera. I work Magic Daily. We're joined today by Rich Witted. What's, What's going up, on, big dog? What's up? What's happening? What's happening? Pleasure having you here. You know we've made acquaintance. Appreciate it. In our in our last shows, we've seen you come out and do your thing. Yes, sir. Uh, regardless, you and your guys, I see you guys always kind of ride around together. You got a good support system. Of course, got so, you. Got you. So yeah. Who are some of your guys here today? You got some artists with you, or these are uh, these guys are just uh, friends of yours? Nah, I just got my dog with me right now. I got my manager with me to my left. Okay. And George. And back there, you know, I got one of my dogs and my other dog. All right. know, basically, another one of my managers as well, you could say. Okay, for sure. All right, and we are we this this is all uh, young finesses right here, or is more of y'all? Uh, we got more. We got more on the team. Okay. Yeah. All right. How many? How many more people on on that team? Um, that group there. I said we got a few more. You feel me? I don't got my dog neat with me. I don't got cool with me. Still got kilo. You know, got a few more people back. For sure. Yeah. All right. Well, what is Young Finesse? Can I ask that? Uh, because I'm not <coughs> sure exactly. Are you guys a or a label or kind of like? What is that? Uh, it's a label. You could say. Feel me? A label that we trying to start. We trying to create. Feel me? Just like our own thing, our own movement. For sure. What we label ourselves as. Well, what was the origin of it? Uh, I say. I'll be finessing people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, it's just like yeah. uh, we don't got like just one way of hustling. Like you know, some people they, some people got one thing they do, one thing like we, we do everything. Like we get our hands on anything to make money. So you know, we just we finessing. You feel me? Okay. That's it. To put it in politically correct terms, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my bag over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> any type of way. Okay, man. Young Finesse's, I liked it. I like it. I, I know I've heard of it before. Uh, I think even before I I heard of you, I think I heard of that movement, Young Finesse's. What's the ultimate goal with that? The ultimate goal is to solidify as a record uh, as a record label. And yes, sir. That's pretty much it there. Okay. Yeah. How long ago did that start? Young Finesse's, uh, it actually started with uh, me and my cousin and my other cousin. We wasn't like we just started. It. We're like we young finesses. That's what it's gonna be. And then he ain't really like rap. He wasn't really rapping. So it was just me and my other cousin, and we just took off. And then I'll probably say like five years ago, five six years five, ago. Five six years. Okay, cool. Were you rapping at the time? You said uh, right, yeah, not really. Yeah, yeah, I was rapping. Yeah, I was there rapping. So you've been uh, rapping for like five years. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Okay. Well. Okay. Rich with it. The name is uh, the name is different. It's it's simple. Um, yes, I think sir. it's a little self-explanatory. But <laughs> why why was that the name that you chose? Uh, all right, let's see. I probably say because one of uh, my favorite artists is Rich Homie Quan. Yeah, I, mean, I say that that was part of it. Plus, like the way he explained it, there was a meaning to it. Like I'm rich, you know, as in spirit. What he said. Yeah, you know, I was like. It makes sense. You feel me? I fuck with that. So I'm like, I'm rich with it. You feel me? Like, yeah. Well, no matter what it is, I'm always gonna be rich. You feel me? Whether sure. I got money or not. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's hard. That's hard because that's what that's what I think when I see the name. I'm saying rich with it. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, what is he rich with? You know, yeah. With everything. Know, yeah. With it all. Yeah. And, and and you know, you kind of you kind of em, uh, embody the the name. I see you always got a, got a little drip on you. You be you be walking around with a little drip. Yeah, little drip drip on you. Yeah, I got some money, but I ain't I ain't rich though. Being humble takes the jewelry and stuff. Being humble takes you a long you way. You, you feel me? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta spoil yourself. You know, you work hard. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Well, you another young Haitian man in the city, really doing his thing. I, I thank you, Haitian. You got a, a a song about to come out on on Haitian Flag Day. Yeah, uh, hate me. Hate I'm me. definitely Haitian. Putting on for the Zos and stuff. Course. For sure. So, what's hate me about? Uh, you no, know, for just the people like 
who didn't acknowledge me. Are you asking people to hate you or are you saying people hate you? No, nah, I said I'm about to make them hate me. Like, okay, the things I'm about to do, like, they finna hate me for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Like, they definitely gonna hate me. You got some visuals dropping for Hate Me too. Yeah. yeah. Well, when they, when is playing. that coming out? Uh, 18th. 18th flat day, I believe. So, hey. yeah. Coming there. out on the 18th. Yeah. Which way? That's just you on that song, no features. So uh, why are the me. people finna hate you? Oh, for the thing I'm about to do. What you about to do? For all the times I stayed down, for what I got coming from. Yeah. Feel me? Just, I can't say nothing. Just, just wait. They finna wait hate for me. It. You feel? Yeah, they finna okay. hate me. Yeah, you know the way he's gonna step. You know, they gonna yeah. they gonna hate him for it because yeah. you know they don't they don't want to see all that success. That's it. Yeah. Like like you yeah. said, I came yeah. from nothing. You feel? Me? I'm Haitian. I'm from Haiti. Yeah. Feel me? Born. Came when I was seven, you know, came from the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. Ooh, I ain't never had shit, you know, these cats with buzz, this and that. Yeah. And I stayed down for my time. I ain't never hate. So now, you know, it's time to make niggas hate me, feel me? You stay so down you, and you turn into hit. a young finesse. A young finesse. A shit. big finesse. That's it. <laughs> now, you said you came at seven, around yeah. seven, eight years old? Yeah. Okay, so you came around the time when they was really hating for real. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. You know, because I, I, I'm familiar. So so, what was that like for you? Where did you touch down at? Did you touch down in Palm, in Palm Beach? Where you elsewhere? Yeah, I touched down in Palm Beach. That's where I first touched down at. I, you see, the thing with me is like I moved around a lot. Like I steady kept moving. Like, yeah. but first place I ever touched down was Palm Beach. You feel me? And I spent a year and a half in Palm Beach. Okay. And after that, I moved to Broward. And after Broward, I moved back to Palm Beach. After that, I moved back to Broward. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was kind of like a back and forth thing. And sure. then some way, somehow, I ended up in Orlando. Feel me? Then it's like I was everywhere. Type you just had family, different places, or you just. Uh, like- nah, just like, you know, like I said, I, we went through it. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, whatever my mom thought was best, she feel me? She tried to chase it. You feel me? Like, she ain't even yeah. think about it. Like, she just jumped on it. You feel me? Yeah. Sometimes it wasn't the right move. Feel me? Shit went sideways as always, or whatever it was. So I just kept moving, kept moving. So how was that adjustment coming from Haiti to the United States and everything? Uh, it was weird. It was weird, but you know, I was happy, though, because that's where everybody in Haiti want to go. Like, yeah, you come to America, you're like, oh, yeah, that's it. They don't know I mean, about Palm Beach, though. They, they call it Miami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter yeah. what it is, it's Miami. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's it. <laughs> Oh, that's, 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 that's the worst. That's, that's what know. they really know for real. Look up, but feel me? It was like I was blessed. You feel me? But you know when people like they see it, they think you come to America. It's a like it's a blessed life. You feel me? It is. Don't get me wrong, but you know you are gonna have to struggle at first. You feel me? Get adapted to things. You know, yeah. yeah see it work, work around it and all that. Yeah, it's you a struggle know. at first, and, yeah. and you know they think you got it all over here, huh? They think you know. Of course, yeah. especially yeah. back home. Hell yeah. So. Have you ever been back? Nah, I ain't never no. been back since, honestly. Would you want to go back? Of course, always. But right now, it's, like, it's not the time, as you know. Yeah. Well, speaking of the of the of the Z, all the all the zombies out here. Who's your who your who your favorite uh, you know zombie rappers right now, man? <laughs> who, who's your who's your favorite Z boys out here snapping? Other than Kodak, we ain't gonna put Kodak on the list because he's the biggest Z. Yeah. Apparently. We already know about him. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'll say Neek and Cool. Okay, and other cool. than that, my people don't really listen to nobody. Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. Like, I probably got like six artists that I listen to. Oh, for real? And Cole has one of them. So that's my only Z right there. So yeah. it, it's going to feel me. So that, who, 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 the, who the other to? five? Uh, the other five, all of them. Rich Homie, of young course. Young Finesse's. You know, yeah, you said Yeah, that. Young Finesse. I ain't even going to include it. That's automatically yeah. on top. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, but you got Rich Home Corn, you got Future, Lil Baby. Uh, what else I say? Probably my dog just put me on 42, Doug. Probably started liking some of his songs. 42 be snapping. Yeah, snapping. he do. Um, I don't know, he can't really come to the top of my head. Oh, and I like Polo G. Polo G hard. Very mm-hmm. hard. Okay. Yeah, he's very So nice. why Rich Homie Quan? Like, what made you... Yeah, that's With a different him throughout answer. Throughout all these years, that's a different answer than what I thought. Oh, I feel like uh, the way like some people rap, like honestly, some people rap about BS. You feel me? Like that don't even make sense. But like I feel like Rich Homie, even when he made it, like he still kept rapping about shit I could relate to. You feel me? Like nigga could be rapping about diamonds, jewelry, all this, fifty thousand dollars. I don't got that. I can't really relate to it. You feel me? But everything he draw, like I could relate to. Like the way he worded things. 
Yeah. So and he was like, he ride and he got a vibe. You feel me? So that's probably why. That's your that's your favorite artist right there. Yeah, the number one. Favorite artist, okay. Only man. All right, cool man. So you've been dropping straight singles so far. Any any plans on the project? And is there a reason behind? I know you have a team. Yeah. Is there any st- strategy behind the single game you've been playing? Uh, yeah, we trying to stay consistent. You feel me? Sometimes, like when you drop a whole project, you, people don't really listen to all of it, yeah. especially if you're not known. You feel me? Nobody gonna sit there and really play like song for song. You feel me? So it's like at this point, you wasting music. Yeah. You know I mean, plus you need like if you gonna drop a project, like you gotta have a big plan for it. Like can't just let it sit. So. With singles, it's much easier. You drop a single, get a video, drop a video, drop a single, video. You know, you're consistent. In the meantime, I'm still working, you feel me? Like, got hella songs I'm working on still, you feel me? Can make a project, but when the time right, then. But right now, we feel like singles is our best option. Yeah. Being consistent. You got a slapper out right now. I was bumping to uh, Geeked. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that one, that, that, that one is... is Probably one of my favorite one on in your discography so far. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. And you you kind of went off. Uh, so yeah, I did. <laughs> you know, kind of explain that part. That was your your recent, yeah. your, your latest it came thing. Came out this year, right? Yeah, yeah, came out this year. We call ourselves city, but we global, and everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. 